What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review. Today we are taking a look at Kvaratskhelia. This guy, Kvaradana, is what he's been nicknamed over in Syria. He's been beasting it up. And also, we are going to be reviewing this card with the training guide for his standard card and how it compares to the mid-season MVP that was released in January, right? So I would probably put him... I don't know what i put him on par with the upper class the upper tier or upper echelon of wingers in this game, right? But he's a different type of player. He has some different strengths and different weaknesses than, say, the, you know, the god tier, such as Dembele, or obviously Neymar on the wing as well, or Sané, I would say, are the three best wingers in the game. But what I like about Cavaradona, lads, is his ability to just be able to get into extremely good positions and be the ultimate wingman, like the ultimate link-up wingman, right? He can do it all, even if the stats don't tell the full picture of him, right? So... I mean, the best thing that you want, obviously, if you are using wingers, is to be able to beat a man and, you know, be able to get the ball into the box. And he can do that very, very easily, right? So his standard edition at the moment got a big boost with V2.4. If you are a newcomer to the game, you might have got, you know, a various, um, a downgraded version of him before. But he has been upgraded. And as I said, if you are a newcomer, you're going to be getting a better version of him. This standard version is, it's an amazing winger to get. He's got unwavering form player skills, you know, everything that you could possibly want there, including a couple of, you know, stats and player skills that uh, that kind of supersede uh, some other wingers in the game, you know, that are way better than the wingers, right? So this is the version of him that was released as the mid-season MVP back in January, right? You can see he's got 34 levels, he's got a 79 overall rating as a left winger, and his stats are pretty decent. Obviously, the big advantage of this guy is going to be his team play style. This is him compared, obviously on eFootballDB, you can just simply hover over another player on the other version and get a real-time comparison of the players without having to click anything. It's just literally hover over um, and you can see, right? So his standard card here, it actually outperforms the MVP version of him by, you know, some way in, in, in ways, right? So speed, dribbling, ball control, tie possession are all better on the standard version of him that you can get for 100,000 GP. Obviously, we're going to take a little hit on stamina, balance, acceleration, and offensive awareness, and passing. But that's not going to really matter too much when we train these guys up. So this is a max out version of him from the standard card, 100,000 GP, 34 levels, 92 overall. And obviously, we're going to have really, really good stats here. He does pair up very similar to the MVP version of him. And this is why I'm always saying, you know, obviously, should you spin or should you actually, you know, uh, skip a lot of these packs? Because the standard versions of these players are very similar, Ugh, excuse me, um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, you're going to have to take a couple of decisions with the passing, and with the speed and stuff, but, you know, you can see here, like, with the few clips that we're going to get, right, these are, this is the MVP version of him, but it's all going to be about how you play, right, if you do like to play out wide, and you like to play a possession game, and out wide, and as wingers, I think pairing, you know, a 4-3-3, or a 4-5-1, um, you know, he can't really, I don't think he really suits playing like a side midfielder, even though he can pass, you'll see a couple of instances here where he gets into that position, stun and cross, into Haaland, and it's a good chance there, right? What I think he's best at doing is kind of like intricate passing, right? So you get the ball here, beat a man, you're going to beat Rice, make bits of him, you're going to cut back in, and then a little slip in pass, same here, once we get the possession back here, his position when he when this ball ends up, right? We make a mistake, we're caught in the counter, we deal with it with Maldini. It's just a bit of a longer clip to show you his movement without you having any input in it, right? It's just his AI. So we've got the ball on left flank with Mudrik. We don't really involve uh Kvrat in this one, but we're gonna get the ball in and eventually get a shot off, and he's just there in the in the six-yard box, ready to uh, you know put it home, right? Like Tiger Woods. So it's very, very, he's a very easy winger to play with. You're going to get a lot of chances. His runs are extremely direct and really easy to kind of track. You don't need to wonder where he is at any given time. His passing stats are not the best, but he can still pick, you know, really nice true passes. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the meta and, you know, wing play isn't the meta at the moment, lads. I will be doing a video on meta quite soon. It'll probably be up today or tomorrow whenever this goes up. But yeah, you have to play him as an outright winger. This is kind of where these guys, you know, strengths lie, right? So the likes of Dembele, they can cover a lot more ground and they can just be, you know, good passers. Neymar can cut in and take shots. He can cut into central roles and be, you know, very, very good taking shots from an out wide position cutting in. Even though they have nerfed in V2.4 the shots, I still think that Kvraschilia is going to be somebody that you want to have literally just hugging the touchline, man. Hugging the touchline, 
peeling off the defenders, running in these really direct lines, beating a man with a skill or two. Um, so he is going to be a different experience than playing with the likes of, uh, you know, maybe somebody like Messi or somebody like Mbappe uh, on the wing or Neymar on the other wing. Now, he does play traditionally as a left winger he is down as a registered left winger but i like to actually play him on the right side because he is a right footed player for for crossing the ball in you know i don't play him as like a crosser you know he's not going to be like beckham on the wings but i think with the way that v2.5 is at the moment he doesn't need to have extraordinary passing ability to be able to get the ball into the box because all you're going to be doing when you are crossing the ball in with wingers with v2.4 is basically having it as a, as a kind of a weapon in your arsenal. Getting into the box and just being able to cause a bit of a nuisance and switch it up every now and again instead of playing central the whole time. But yeah, this kind of sums him up, right? You get the ball in midfield here, shrugs off Sadarf, shrugs off another challenge with Zinchenko and he's gone, right? And obviously you're going to be taken down here. We're going to get a free or we're going to lose the ball and it's going to be over. But that's what he's all about. So I would give him a rating, lads, of about 8 out of 10. I think his standard version is one of the best standard version cards in the game. But he does take a little bit of a kind of a learning curve to, to use him on the wings. Because especially, you know, you could use Neymar and you could cut in from the middle or Demaria. They might be suited to 2.4 a little bit better. But I actually have a soft spot for this guy and I think he is a beast. So check him out. Let me know what you think of the review and the training guide. Go back and look at it if you want. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.